Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and good morning. And it is morning, it's it's half past eight in the morning. Um, not a bright sunny day, so I thought I'd grab the opportunity and maybe get two videos done today, if not three. I would be very happy if that happens, because that means I can get a bit of a, a bit of a backlog made, so I'm not always doing them at the very last moment. So, obviously, what is today? It's that day it's collage day it's margaret miller challenge day and i want to say we're on 41 we are on 41 so as you can see i've already done a bit of work on this um i will explain that in a second or two but first of all let's have a quick look at the prompts there you go i cannot say i was overly inspired by the prompts this this time um yeah it didn't I don't know. There, there was nothing really in here that made me go, oh, that's really exciting. So I've got a feeling this might be quite a bit of a quick one this um, this week. So obvious cohorts in crime. I've got ink. I've got scissors. I've got a scraper or a spreader and I've got my tear ruler. And there's the obligatory ink book. Oh, a blue book. I need to get another one of those sorted out. I've got another one on the shelf, all within arm's reach, I'm sure. So let's take a little bit of a look and see what I pulled out as far as stuff. And I've already got in my mind what I'm using. So um, a tool. Well, I went through all my magazine clippings and I've got these, which are like gardening screwdrivers, um, floral craft knives, gardening gloves, something in the kitchen and crafting. And I went with this one because although those are quite cute, yeah, kind of cute. I thought that will dictate too much what the theme of this will be. And as I was going through the prompts, an idea was sort of coming to mind. And these are little bits of equipment a crafter would use. So this is basically just an insert of a drawer. And I thought that's fine. And it's just about the right size to be used on here. So that was what I used for that. Number two, a doll or a toy. So I fussy cut this out. Now, if my memory serves me right, because this is my use, this is Andy Pandy. And there used to be a little doll called Loopy Lou, um, but this is Andy Pandy. And I found him in, um, in a book and fussy cut him out. So he's going to be the toy. So um, I can't remember how it used to go. I can't remember. I had a feeling maybe in the same TV show, there used to be something called the Flower Pot Men, which was... Um, these two people, two characters in a garden that were made up of flower pots. Um, I can't remember. I mean, I'm struggling to pull that one together again. But yeah, I do remember. I used to watch that as a kid. So we're talking at least 50 years ago. So there you go. My brain's just shutting down after 50 years. That's <laughs> not a surprise there. Um, something cold, right? Something cold. This is a picture of snow. And it's the other half of this double spread from a magazine which was snow. So I'm going to work this to put this on this page and then that will all be snow, which is the bit that represents cold. Um, next on here, a playing card either side. Well, I found this one. I've got this set. They're a tiny little set. I can't remember where I picked these up from. It had to have been a Goodwill or a thrift or a charity shop somewhere. And there's two packs of these little tiny cards. One has got pink backs, one's got blue backs. And they're just tiny, tiny. I can't even work out how you play with something this small. But I saw this lady here could be the queen of craft with all the crafting stuff in the drawer. Or she's the queen of something anyway. So I thought that's a reason. I thought queen of hearts, put her in there. Maybe she's the queen of love. Who knows? Put that in there. Um, sheet music. There's all the sheet music hanging around. So I've got sheet music. And then bonus is something from a security envelope. I've opened up a security envelope. I know on one of my previous spreads, I did turn this into a pocket and put something in it. So I thought, I want to do something different again. Um, I've got a feeling there's not going to be a lot of this featured as with the music paper. And then I found one more thing and I don't know why it appealed to me. I found this in a magazine and it fits almost perfectly. Well, it does fit perfectly there. And I like the way that the red bottle pulled across the color. So this is definitely going and it's going to go on there. Um, not really sure what this is, but it's fine. So my first things first, obviously, was to cover the pages. So um, I covered this one because you don't need to be covering a page twice. So I wanted her fairly high up. 
So I'm going to tear this down so that she's almost at the top. Bit of a pinch there. That gives me a line to tear along. So there you go. So I hope you're all doing well. Lots of lovely comments coming in. Thank you very much. And so and subscriber numbers are growing, which is always a good thing for someone who has a YouTube channel. We love to have our subscribers growing and welcome to all the newbies. I'm trying to say hello and welcome to you if you've commented. If you haven't commented, I can't say hello to you because I don't know you, you've made it here. Um, because the way that YouTube works, it just says that I will have got new new followers but it doesn't necessarily say who those followers are so I've got no way of interacting with you guys unless you leave a comment and then by all means please tell me where you're from when you first subscribe because I'd love to know that I've got friends all over the world and I've got followers all over the world and it's lovely that we've got such an international palette of people watching so tear that across the bottom there and then stick this down. I really don't think this spread is going to take that long to do, which some of you might be relieved at because I know some of the spreads have taken up to an hour before now, but I'm wondering whether that's just me gossiping or whether it actually is that it took me an hour. Let's just run my fingers along there and get some idea of where the edge of this is. So there you go. Um, Life here is life. It's the way it is. Um, we've got the ongoing saga of the fuel shortages, which aren't really fuel shortages. They're truck driver shortages. So the deliveries can't get through. I think I need to touch more off the bottom of that. Um, so, of course, everyone and, and their dog are out there panic buying fuel for their vehicles. And I'm like, really, guys, come on. Don't be so selfish. There are people who actually do need those fuel supplies like um, care workers. I know um, taxi drivers are not really an essential service, but they are for some people who don't drive. They need to get around and they need to actually have fuel as well. Um, doctors, nurses, every, everyone that has an essential job to do needs fuel. If you've got a car and you go shopping once a week, there's no need for you to rush out and fill the fuel tank up just because you don't want to run out. You know what? You're not going to run out. I can absolutely assure you the government will get this sorted quite quickly because otherwise it will cripple the country. And that's not going to happen. We've had enough of all of that. Right, I'm just going to put some kitchen paper or kitchen towel down to glue on the back of this because this is bigger than this. So I have to... Oh, she's a bit unfortunate, doesn't she? Well, I don't know who dressed her this morning, but it certainly wasn't some of the guy I would have recommended for her. But then, you know what? Everyone to their own. Um, looking at this, I'd say this must have been an image out of a fashion magazine. Oh, that's probably why you don't use kitchen towel to glue upon, because the glue stick grips to it. Let's turn that up. So, yes, yeah, so, yes, I'm, I'm getting through the comments bit by bit. Um, the one thing I wish, and I'm sure there's a way of doing it, I just haven't found the filter for it yet. Um, when I use the app for YouTube Studio to try and do the comments, it puts the most recent comments at the top. So that means the older comments keep being pushed further and further and further down, down the list. So I don't seem to be getting to them. So I need to have a look. I'm sure there's got to be a filter where it can say... Um, newest first or oldest first. I'm sure that th there's bound to be. I just haven't found it yet. But then it could be because I'm doing it on a phone. If I was to look at it on my iPad, maybe I'd find the setting there. So if I move that so badly, it's out of place. Right, so she's now on that page. And I get rid of this because that's going to annoy me. Um, so yes, answering comments. Um, just dealing with life stuff at the moment. Um, as you know, I bought... A new car, well, a new new to me car, let's put it that way, um, and I'm loving it. I'm still finding it a little tricky to drive because I used to drive a Ford Focus. I now drive a Ford Cougar, which feels a bit like a tank to me, I must admit, but there you go. That's just me being me. Right, let's have a quick look. Right, I had a feeling I wanted to put a strip of this across the bottom there um, just to make sure I've got it on the page. And I might put a strip across there as well. 
I'm unsure. We're, we're flying by the seat of our pants this morning, people. And I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. So you know what? How privileged are you? I'm here, no coffee. This is just me being me. And it's a bit terrifying. So, uh, there you go. Let's go and sort that one out. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's a new car. And then, of course, there's everything that goes along with getting a new uh, car to yourself. Um, like getting taxed and MOT'd and, and I have a service plan sorted out now so that I contribute, um, snip that bit off, I contribute monthly to this system that then every year I get one free service and I get one free MOT. Although they say free, but you know what? I paid for it. But it just takes, it takes a financial hit out of it. Meaning that I don't all of a sudden get this really big bill um, once a year for a service or once a year for an MOT. Um, I just thought, I don't know, I don't think, do you do MOTs in America? Um, in Canada? Well, do you do MOTs in your country is a question. Actually, I'm being a bit narrow-minded here, just listing um, Britain and America and Canada. Uh, basically, it's where you go in and I think an MOT um, is a bit, just to check that your car is roadworthy or hit certain criteria that it's roadworthy. I don't think it means it's 100% safe because they only do certain checks, but I think it's just basically checking it's roadworthy. Let's just leave it at that because I don't know what I'm talking about yet again. So, right, we've got that there. Um, music paper. I've got these little pieces, and again, I don't need a huge amount on this page. Maybe just a little strip there. Which begs the question, why did I put that strip there? But then I didn't know I was putting this strip there, so it's understandable. Actually, I think I'd like that the other way around. So, so yeah, sorting the car out. Um, as I said, I finished doing the TV stuff now for, I've done, my next TV show isn't until, the next official TV show isn't until, um, when isn't it until Griffiths? It isn't until December the 9th, although I am doing, I'm um, filming for an online TV thing, September, no, this is September, October 20th. Um, but what that means is it's taken my foot off the pedal of being on this complete hamster wheel of churning stuff out every single month and always putting myself on the back burner, which is something I wanted to get away from. I wanted to make sure that I was able to spend the time doing videos like this, doing my Etsy store, doing social media, being creative, having time for me to be creative with my art. Um, so basically, yes, I'm beginning to do that and I'm very, very happy about that because I can now start knocking that to-do list on the head, getting it all done, down and dusted right. This is just telling me it needs to go up there. So just take that paper off because I know that's sticking. That's one thing about using magazine or print stuff there. So hello, I don't know who you are, but hello anyway. Um, the paper's really flimsy, so if you're watching this going, good grief, Kerry goes through so many glue book pages. Yes, I do. Now, if I was doing just regular collage with um, digitals or craft paper, it's a bit more resilient, but if there's absolutely any glue on this page, and then I stick a bit of magazine paper to the top of it, and try to lift it up, the first thing it does is just rips the image off the front. So I have learnt my lesson well. But I do utilise book pages a lot in other projects, as you've already seen, because I've been sharing videos on it. Right, um, that's some of that in. Right, I needed to fit. Now, I did play around with whether he should be standing in the craft drawer, waving to her, or whether he should be down here and just being her little friend. So I'm going to sit him there because I'm not sure whether I want him there or there. Um, the playing card, I really do feel I want to put somewhere in there. And I know the potions, bottles or perfume, what are these? I'm trying to read. 
I don't know what that says. It's not English for a start, it's French. Yeah, I think that'll fit in there lovely. That may need something behind it. So let's see if I can get that off there. These obviously go into the little box which is over there, which I recycle as you've already seen. Right, let's see if I can carefully glue this because this is likely to tear on me because it's it's lots of funky shapes and I'm probably going to have glue coming out all over the place because it's going to snag on my glue stick, which it's just done. But let's see if I can get this off here and on the page without destroying everything about it. Right, let's be really, really cautious. Once it's down, it's really solid, so it's just... There you go. I did that. I thought I was going to tear that edge because the glue stick just folded it up on me. Right, so I do think this little one needs to come over here because there's a lot on that page. And shall I try doing that with a glue stick? Maybe I will. Right, let's do that. It's funny because this page has got so much less than I normally put onto one of my collage pages. And it just feels like I'm not doing the collage right, but... Maybe that's the change this week has invoked upon me. Maybe I did just need to do something that's a little bit less than normal. Right, so I've only really got that to go on. And as I said, that feels like it needs a something behind it. Um, let's just double check. So we've got a, a tool. Those are tools. A scissors is definitely a tool. A toy or a doll. Be nice if it stood up straight. There you go. Something cold, we've got the snow, we've got a playing card, which is going on. Sheet music, we've got music. And security design, yes. I, I want to find something. That, oh, actually, what's that? That would be perfect. Well, look at that. Right, let's pull this in a bit, because I don't need to be all... Right, this, oh, this is another one of the smelly things, isn't it? What does this one smell like? Can I get this off the back? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty pungent, Giorgio Armani. That's that's very pungent. Um, yeah, I'd be glad to be sticking that one down. That's that's not my sort of taste at all, right? Um, that's really really heavy cardstock. I'm wondering whether I'll use glue and I'll use a bit of red liner tape. Red liner tape is um. A double-sided tape but it's quite heavy duty and I've got a feeling that I just want to put a little bit more of something on there than what I would normally put because this this is majorly thick I just have a thought it doesn't open does it no it doesn't open I thought there's a booklet it's that thick it feels like a booklet and I think I might put art glitter glue on this as well Let's put that by. Let's see if I can get the edges off this. I'm a lot more successful, says he hopefully, with double-sided tape than I am with labels. See, I can do these. Why can't I do labels is the question. Or stickers, should I say. Or have I just jinxed myself? Nope, there you go. Right, close the blade away. Kerry has been known to cut himself before now, because I can be a bit klutzy. Right, where's that art glitter glue gone? Let's put some of that down, down the middle. I'm going to have a very, very smelly planner with all of these samples in. I think I want to put that right by there, because once it's down, it's down. There is no wiggle room with double-sided tape, and I think this is going to go down with art glitter glue. At least if this comes up in the course of time, I could always just re-stick it back down again. It's not like this is a journal for somebody and you'd be heartbroken if it fell to pieces. Just trying to line that up, get that a little bit gone. Have I done that straight? Right, 
that can sit there. Put the top on that. Right, so let's have a quick look. Have I, I've done it, I'm sure I've done it. So, right, a tool, that's all tools. A doll or a toy, done it. Something cold, all of the snow is definitely cold. Playing card, we've just put the playing card in. Sheet music is there and there. Security tag, uh, security letter there and there. We've done it. Well, that was probably the fastest I've ever done one. And it is very, very different in its look from all of the others. Um, and it's a smelly one, because like, goodness knows I can smell it from here. Um, oh, I've just seen something. No, that's just over the top. I quite like the clean lines of this. It tells a story, but not a huge story. I don't know. I just, I just like that. That's That plays to my minimalist look. So I'm going to call that done, guys. That was a really fast one this week. I may be able to get another one of those done today. Let's have a think. So this is me, as normal, all the social media links. Everything is there. If you need to get a hold of me, this is how to do it. Go through the contact page. Or if you do follow me on Facebook, there's always Facebook Messenger, should you need to reach out. But if you put all the comments down below, I will get to them. It's just, when will I get to them? And I'll try and sort out that filter on that YouTube um, studio app. And this is me saying goodbye. So it's Kerry the Crafter saying goodbye now. Goodbye. That's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Until next time, try now.